Yeah. <laughs> uh, something smooth yet sinister. Coming through to diminish you. And this here's the finisher. <laughs> Check it out. Uh. Alright, guys. So, this battle here, uh, the main goal of this one, guys, is to try to overcome the healing capability of this healing bit. Alright. This healing bit, um, I'm not sure how much if it changes with or without sickness. But I usually have it inflicted with sickness, and it usually heals about 750,000, and it does that twice per turn, all right? So it may heal himself twice, it may heal attack drone twice, it may heal each enemy, each enemy one time each. Um, there's no telling who he's going to heal how many times, but the only thing you really have to do with this battle is just to overcome their healing capabilities, okay? Um, sometimes you are able to do this by pure uh, SBBs. Other times you may need to get a UBB popping. All right, uh, let's give it a few turns uh, by just doing BBs and SBBs and see if we can overcome his healing capabilities. Um, an event that we are not able to by I would say about turn three. I'm just gonna pop the UBB and wipe these guys on now. All right, so uh, first turn we're just applying buffs. So uh, we'll see what happens. We should be able to take these guys out without having to use the old UBB though. This is very important for uh, the next battle to have. This battle, not so much. So I see you left the attack drone high and dry, huh? Uh, no, you healed them both up. Alright, we got buff supply this time, so we should be able to do a lot more damage, alright? See what we can do this turn. Yeah, there goes the damage. There goes the damage. Good stuff. All right, so um, at, if we can keep this rate up, um, we can get these guys taken out without too much of a problem. So it looks like he did a double attack drone this turn. So we're going to take this healing bit out this turn, which is perfect. So once you take out the healing bit, there is no more healing being done here, guys. All right, the healing is over with. Uh, what we're going to get into here. He's just taking out the attack drone at this point. If we don't take him out this turn. Yep. We let him up. So nothing to that one guys. Alright. Just blow him on out the water. Overcome their healing. Nothing to it baby. Got it done in three turns too. Which is a definite bonus. Alright. So this second battle is basically a repeat of the last battle. Alright. Alright. Uh, what you're going to want to do, you're definitely going to want to try to poison her. You're definitely going to want to try to hit her also with sickness, all right? Um, I believe you can also hit her with weakness as well, uh, defense down, stuff like that. Uh, but this battle is just like the last battle except on steroids, all right? Um, this enemy here is able to heal, I believe, for about 2.5 million HP per turn. Your job is to try to overcome the amount that she's healing by putting out more damage. All right. In addition, you're definitely going to want to try to uh, hit her with status ailments. Thank you, Asterio. So uh, let's go ahead and try to do that. Now, to do that, we're going to kick this thing off by popping Sirius right into overdrive, guys. Let's get Sirius going. Um, you don't have to use the Fujin, all right? Don't worry about the Fujin just yet. Let's try to do it all, all natural this turn. So we're going to go ahead and apply all our buffs. We're going to get Sirius' BB gauge built up. And then uh, next turn, we're going to pop UBB. And the goal here is to try to overcome her healing capabilities. All right, that's what we want to do. So that was 2 million that time she just healed for. So pop Sirius UBB. And then let's try to hit it with everything we got here, guys. SBB is out. One UBB, bunch of SBBs. Hopefully we poison her. Alright, we definitely need to get a poison because that's going to help with the amount of damage that we put out on her. So that was a pretty good uh, turn right there. Over half of her HP. That's good stuff. So she only healed for 1.5 million that turn. Still haven't hit her with poison yet though. Poison helps. Takes about 425,000 of her HP per turn after she heals. So it will help to have poison on her. It would help big time to have poison on her. But I still don't think we hit her with it yet. 
All right, so this is the last turn we got Sirius's UBB in effect. Now remember, we got an eight turn uh, limit here. After that eighth turn, we're pretty much uh, toast. So we want to get it done as quickly as we can. Looks like we poisoned her that time. That's good. All right, now I, I will tell you guys, pretty much without UBB, um, you're really not going to overcome that uh, two million on the uh, heal and she does all right she heals for a freaking lot so what I recommend here guys just pop the hero crystal all right and let's get back into the groove of things to try to finish her off hopefully this turn now you are okay to use one Fujin I highly recommend you never use more than one before the final battle all right gonna need that uh, one more for the final battle I'll explain when we get there Excellent mission accomplished. So we were able to take her out So that battle is probably going to be one of your more difficult ones guys That's probably if you can get past the fifth battle This battle is probably where you'll end up stuck if you don't use that strategy right there. Okay So on to the next battle All right, this battle here is um Another healing round all right. They heal a lot but this one, you don't really need any uh, UBB for, all right? You should be just fine with a powerful spark squad like this, wiping these two right on out, okay? So, i um, just going to use pure SBBs here, guys, all right? We're not going to get into anything uh, fancy, anything. Just wreck them. You got eight turns. They really don't have that much HP, as you can see, so... Uh, should be able to wreck it within a few turns. They they heal a lot, but they're not going to heal back to full health or anything like uh, our last foe was doing. Yeah, they just, they heal a nice amount, but it's nowhere near enough, we'll say. Easily able to overcome the amount that they're healing with SBBs. So let's wipe these ones out. And we'll move on to the next battle. Alright, so we got a poison this time. I also heard some weakness in there. So we got him hurt. Hurt this round. Alright, so two turns. Alright, easily able to take care of that battle. No issue. Alright, so this battle here is against Tora. Alright, this battle you're pretty much going to want to treat like the fifth battle, except you don't have to worry about getting nuked without status ailments. This battle. You just want to try to get done within eight turns, all right? There's no real strategy here. Just, of course, you're fighting Tora, so you're going to want to be careful about status ailments, all right? Definitely going to hit you with some status ailments. But follow the strategy of the fifth battle. Don't worry about having status ailments on yourself. You don't have to have that for this turn. Just try to get it done within eight turns, all right? That's what you want to do. She hit my majors with curse, which isn't that big of a deal. He got two turns of mitigation. I'll have it wiped off of him by then. Paralyzed my series. Now that's a problem. But cool you to the rescue, baby. So cool you was gonna wipe out the status ailments. Rinse and repeat. Alright, so pretty much you're gonna do the same thing here until this battle is done. Probably take us a couple more turns here to get it wiped out, but it's not a bad thing, all right. Actually, the closer you can get this to eight turns, the better, because you're definitely going to want to have overdrive gauge built up by the time we get to the uh, final battle here, which is next after this battle. Got it with the poison, she hurting. All right, so keep the BB SBB pressure up. Probably going to take us, if not this turn, the next turn, we should have it finished off. Alright, Tora, what you got, girl? Paralyzing my mavers, huh? That ain't gonna fly. I can't have that. All 
All right, so this turn, let's just go ahead and get her finished off. So I hope you guys see how useful it is to have the BB gauge on Spark. There's no way you'll be able to keep up the constant uh, BB assault on a single target without that buff. All right. So maximize that buff the best you can. All right. Now the final battle, um, it isn't really difficult. All right. Um, it is difficult to get it done within the eight turn limit. That's the only thing. All right. So all he's telling you here is that this Thief Guild Master, which is basically a Thief Leon, um, he has a ton of HP, and he truly does, as you're going to see here. He has a lot of HP, okay? Um, the goal of this battle, um, you don't even have to finish it. Pretty much, if you reach this battle, you pretty much already have the top score required, okay? If you can complete this battle, you get a little extra buffer score, all right? It doesn't hurt. But uh, this at this point is pretty much not required to beat. But we're going to try to beat it, all right? If we can't beat it, great. If not, it is what it is. I'll at least be able to show you the strategy that I used to beat it the previous time. Now, every turn, at least up to your eight-turn limit in a way, Leon is going to bring out a different unit, a new unit, all right? So there can be a total of eight units out here all at one time. But hopefully... Uh, we'll have business taken care of before he gets all eight out at the same time. Anyway, uh, Thief Guild Master himself has a ton of HP, um, and the final unit that he brings out, which is basically Melchior, has a, a nice amount of HP. The rest of them, it'll only probably take you about two, maybe three turns to take them out, and that, that's pretty much it. All right, but what we're going to want to do here, guys, um, is just keep working on them until we build up. Uh, full overdrive gauge all right pretty much the second the instant you build up that full overdrive gauge go ahead and pop it all right or or if you want to wait until Melchior comes out Melchior is the last unit that comes out um, you can also do that that's just fine that's probably what I'll do in this video or maybe the turn before he comes out because I think you only got about two maybe three turns after Melchior comes out before he pops the uh the nuke attack attack that's going to put you in the ground pretty much <laughs> but uh, we kept a Fujin on standby just so we can instantly get into it on the turn that that gauge fills up all right which I'm guessing is going to be not the next turn the turn after Woo! hit my makers pretty good there don't kill him excellent Alright, so keep the strategy going here guys, if you get hit with status ailment, use your removal unit, auto the rest, keep pushing forward. My maybe should be able to heal back up to full HP, no problem. And Leo Murray, baby, even with low recovery, he's easy to heal back up. Alright, so as you can see, it wasn't no joke about uh, Thief Gill, Master. He has a ton of HP. Uh, picking on my makers again, huh? Alright, so next turn, probably going to go ahead and pop a UBB. Alright, as you can see, they're coming pretty close to taking my units out. I should be able to take out about two of those units out there this turn. Alright, this turn, I should be able to put a couple of them in the ground at a lessen the amount of damage or beat down I'm taking here uh, still alive wow that's not good oh boy well, didn't quite make it this time, but that's all right. Like I said, pretty much if you reach this battle, you're pretty much good. I wonder how much health they had. I wonder why I didn't take them out. It took too long, huh? Ah, uh, well, uh, we're not going to worry about redoing it. We should have enough score in order to reach the top prize. That should have been good enough right there. Let's take a look, though, because I finished it the last time. Came so close, but 
the yeah, as soon as you get that overdrive gauge, guys, you're gonna want to go ahead and pop a serious uh UBB. You need that 75% mitigation for three turns because you see they're strong. They are freaking strong, man. All right, let's see if we made it. We might have fell a little bit short, actually. Ooh, just a little bit short. So, uh, I almost want to redo this for you guys, but um, probably not going to, honestly. All you got to do is just as soon as you get full overdrive gauge, just go ahead and pop that junk, and you're good to go. All right. Um, my score in itself proves to you guys that I've already completed it all the way through all right you get just under 2 million for completing it you see here I got 1.949 blah 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 all right I was able to completely finish it all right I'll probably have to do a completely different run probably not going to do it honestly because there's no need to you you pretty much saw the entire strategy in this video um I can the only reason I can think that we weren't able to even finish that is because this freaking device I'm playing on Kind of hinders me a little bit, but it is what it is. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys the sphere that you get for reaching that top prize of 1.75 million, though. It's a pretty decent sphere, all right? It's not like ultra good or anything like that, but it's nice. Uh, you're definitely going to want to use it as a secondary sphere. All right, probably put a nice stat boost sphere on and then uh, equip this sphere with it. And you have a, pr a pretty decent, uh, well-fortified unit there. So uh, let's keep scrolling. I'm not sure what level. There it is. So it's called the Dreadnought Shell of Left. All right. As 10% to defense, 10% to recovery, and 30% to max HP, immunity from curse, paralyze, and weakness. BB gauge fill rate is increased. All right. And the BB gauge fill rate is increased by 30%. Pretty decent amount there. All right. So. Um, like I said, guys, probably not going to get into another video at this point, all right? It's pretty much, it's, it's a little bit RNG based at, in that battle, but um, it's also the device I'm playing on. But besides that point, um, he's going to keep bringing out units. Melchior is the last unit he's going to bring out, all right? Hopefully, you already have serious UBB in effect by then, so you're going to be dealing a ton of damage, okay? Uh, what you want to try to do if possible is take out as many units as you can before the water unit gets out there and starts healing them, all right? I didn't even see that happen last time because I had already wrecked them all. But uh, take them, take out about, if you can, about two to three units before they get the healing, you'll be just fine, all right? So uh, I, 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 when I did it before, I already had full overdrive gauge. Turn one getting into the battle. That's why I was able to do that. But... Uh, other than that guys that pretty much wrapped this up so you got the full strategy unfortunately I couldn't complete it all the way for you but you got the full strategy at least you should be able to do it get the top prize and uh, be done with this frontier gate okay so any questions comments go ahead and leave it down below guys um, otherwise um, thanks for watching thanks for checking out the video um, if, if you liked it be sure to leave a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe to the channel if you want to join the Facebook group link down below in the description and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So once again, thanks for watching, hanging out, checking out the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.